So the views and opinions expressed in this program do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of Columbia Access Television or Stevens College. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello there, viewers, and welcome to another episode of Bone Man Rhapsody. I'm here in uh, Cat TV Studio A with, uh, with some uh, pretty brilliant rappers. And here on the show today, I have a very special guest from Indianapolis, Indiana. I introduce to you uh, DC Smitty. What's up, everybody? Hey, well, thanks for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. Um, we just had a battle, and uh, I'd say it went pretty well. I'd say it went great, man. Great stuff. I had a great time writing it, oh, man. Uh, performing yeah, it. Yeah, had some killer punchlines in there, man. Uh, what was it like uh, preparing uh, for this battle? Uh, to be honest, uh, you didn't give me a whole lot to work with. <laughs> Besides a bone mask and, a, and a, your, your typical, uh, how should I say, uh, your, your candor, your dress. Swag. Your swag. There he goes. Is that the right word for it? Swag. swag. You got swagger, Bone Man. I'll give it to you. I appreciate it. Uh, you've only had a couple battles before, is that right? Uh, yeah. This will be my uh, third recorded battle. Okay. And, uh, yes, uh, I, I guess you've had a lot of issues with some of the battle scene. Um, uh, you've had a lot of no-shows and, you know, some leagues, you know, just not taking care of the footage or... Uh, what was the case? Uh, no, just, uh, yeah, a lot of no-shows in Indiana, particularly, uh, the battle scene out there just, uh, isn't what it is in other cities or in mm. other states out there. There's not as much of a appreciation for the art, you know, they kind of associate 8 Mile with rap battling, oh. you know what I mean? Yeah. They're, they're kind of living 10, 20 years in the past and don't get what it's developed into. Oh. And, uh, had a lot of no-shows, yeah, about four no-shows straight before Man. I decided to come to, uh, other states to compete, so... Well, that's a bummer. Um, I, uh, I hope your luck changes, you know, here in the future. Um, you know, there's plenty of people in the scene that, uh, you know, they're on board with all this. So, um, you know, like definitely, uh, you know, the people out in Colorado, right? You know, Absolutely. They're, they're very yeah. helpful. Cats out in Colorado are great. Shouts to them, by the way. Everybody out in the Colorado scene doing their thing. Uh, dub trays right now. They got a big event going on right now with Dot Mob, supposedly. Yeah. Don't uh, know how that's going through right now. I heard they've had some trouble with Aurora Police. Trying to crash your scene out there. I'm not sure what that's about. As an amateur battler, what are some of the observations you've had on the battle scene and just how some people handle things? Or, or um, you know, perhaps if you were in charge, how would you run it? Uh, that's, a, that's a tough question. As far as w w what the scene is, you know, uh, if you're going to become a battler or go to the scene, you know, there's a lot of uh, immaturities for sure mm. that you have to deal with in some of the larger... Uh, events that go on you know i mean there's a lot of people that are stuck on their own pedestals or less of a better way to put it they got their heads up their own ass and uh you know it, it's hard to work with people like that that are that are so much about themselves and not about the art as much you know as much about promoting what battling is about and it's not just about you you know what i mean it, it's just it's it's bigger than that mm -hmm. oh yes it's it, it's almost way too big now you know uh it's just, it, very uh, true. it's reached all corners of the earth, and I don't know. Uh, and it's, it's hard to, to uh, not bite di by default, it seems like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You almost have to go, there are so many battles out there and so many written that, so many that are rappers. being cycled around that you, you, it's impossible to watch all of them and, and come, you know, I mean, you have, you have to really sit down and try to come original, you know, without yeah. biting somebody by default and get accused of it, you know what I mean? So You are not particularly... A rapper that makes music, you're uh, you're battling for other reasons. Uh, uh, you have art and you draw. Is that the case? Yeah, I uh, I'm I'm kind of the the black sheep in the circle with that. But yeah, I, I don't make music. I don't rap. I don't I don't uh, promote any albums or anything like that. I, I strictly draw. I like to do promotional artwork, things like that, whether it's for uh, flyers, for events, for or CD cases, or whatever you know any kind of artist wants to use to promote their own music, you know, I like to, to provide that. And I think that kind of sets, you know, my own unique place 
you know, and something that's filled with all kinds of people that are trying to hand you their demo or their, you know, mixtape, you know, I just, you know, I have something that's different to put on the table yeah. besides, you know, just, just another rapper. I totally agree. Uh, you've observed the battle scene, you know, quite frequently. Um, uh, who are you, some of your favorites? And, uh, you know, uh, perhaps you could talk about some of the leagues, you know, the big ones, the small ones. I think Lux is the GOAT right now, <laughs> without a doubt for most people. Uh, you know, I, I like a lot of different guys out there that, you know, uh, it, I hate to just name a few, but, you know, like uh, Caustic, he's got a lot of uh, a lot of good battles. I, I think he just had a battle that dropped today that was really good with uh, Definition, or not Definition, uh, fuck was it, Jefferson Price, am I right? Somebody else here was one. Yeah, that yeah. That, right. that was a decent battle. Uh, you know, uh, a couple other, you know, I like, uh, you know, like I said, Lux, I like uh, uh Caustic, uh, you know, Kid Twist is obviously a weird pick, but you know what I mean? I think, you know, it, the more different you are for me, the better, you know what I'm saying? And, and, I agree, uh, completely. Yeah. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> what is your take on this whole, um, you know, uh, uh, I guess you and I are kind of in the same position, you know, we, we are, uh, you know, we're kind of the oddball out, you know, because we're not this you know, this lyrical, you know, a hip hop machine that, uh, that a lot of these battlers are, you know, they're just trying to push their music and, you know. Uh, no, and, and that's ex kind of exactly the reason why I picked you as, a, as a, my next uh, battle is because, you know, what you do, you know, people can look at you and say you're a parody, obviously, because you're a guy that raps in a bone mask, you know, but what you do is really original and separates yourself from kind of the, the factory built line of battle yeah. rappers that are out right now, you know, and it's not like that you, you have to take yourself, you don't, you know, you enjoy what you do. Yes. Am I right? You know yes. what I mean? You, you do it because you have a love for it, you know what I mean? And that's all that really matters, you know, and that's what separates you from Joe Schmo, nobody that, you know, that I would take a match with. Absolutely. So, you know, for people like us that might not be considered, you know, musicians or rappers you know you do your own things as far as stand-up comedy and doing these interviews and stuff but you know for me that's just just as good to promote for battling as anything you know and mm -hmm. and, and from what i know about battlers uh they don't make good music anyways so i <laughs> i fall right into that no i don't make good music so that's why i'm a battler uh, well, how did you get involved in this uh did you see a rap battle on the internet or did you have some friends that were in it uh, Beyond, you know, I've always had an interest for it, uh, but it, it was so rare where I was from, I think is what made it so interesting, interesting to me because uh, nobody was doing it where I'm from. And uh, I, to be honest, one of the first uh, YouTube battles I ever watched was an Averb battle. And so I kind of evolved backwards as far as watching, you know, I started watching URL battles a lot. And then I started graduating to like King of the Dot and Grind Time when it was still on top and things <clears> like that, you know, which is kind of a different side of the the field comparably, you know, when you get to people talking about bars over jokes and things like that, you know what I mean? So I kind of graduated backwards as far as a, an appreciation for bars instead of just coming in and doing a comedy roast on somebody. Because I think most people that don't watch battling or not into it, you know, they want to see a comedy roast. They want to understand all your punchlines. They want to get it right then and there and they want to laugh and have a good time. And, and if you're going to do it, it's not all about making jokes and cracking jokes and stuff. So, you know, you, you actually ha you have to have a whole feel for the whole spectrum of the art, you know, if you, mm -hmm. if you want to win battles. I agree. Uh, what would you say uh, that you like about the battle scene? Oh, man, uh, <laughs> everything. You know, I, to be honest, it's one of my favoritest forms of entertainment right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, just as far as, you know, the feel of the competition, the psychological warfare about it that's involved, you know, just to be there on that spot and in front of people. And especially for me, I, you know, I kind of grew up pretty introverted and, you know, I've always kept my soft smirkles, soft, bleh, small circles of friends, but, uh, mm -hmm. but, you know, to be able to get out of your shell in front of people and be outspoken, you know what I mean? I think is the most, uh, the most, in, not, not intriguing is the word I'm looking for, but, uh, Hmm. What's the word I'm looking for, Bone Man? Magical. Magical. Magical dream. It's a mythical dragon sent by a magical, a magical. dream. Absolutely, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> um, well, have you seen my stapler? I love your stapler, man. I just wanted to do that yeah. one time. Sorry. Uh, it looks like it's from the 40s or something. Yeah, it looks pretty pre-World War I. Yeah, <laughs> uh, very pre-hip-hop, if anything. That, that, that was definitely stapling some uh, stone tablets or cardboard. <laughs> How did you come up with your rap name, uh, DC Smitty? Um, 
Like, what are you in a comic books or something? <laughs> no, uh, they're actually my initials, but yes, I do collect comic books, unfortunately. So embarrassing as <laughs> enough as that is to admit, I love comic books. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, do you have a huge collection? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I have boxes. You know, boxes. Like... I have a lot of old horror comics that you would love, man. Oh. A lot of old Tales of the Crypts, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, that show is excellent. What's next for you, I would say? Um, you know, I, I've been looking at uh, different places to go in battle. Uh, uh, I've been looking at Ohio. I might come back here. You know, I've got, a, I've got a very warm welcome here. You know, you guys have been very gracious to me. Very cool cats. And I thank you again for having me out. Uh, so, you know, uh, definitely uh, thinking about coming back out here to Missouri and uh, Colorado. I got, yeah. a, I got a small demand out there. People have been really, really cool to me out totally. there. Which, by the way, if you haven't been to Colorado before, go. It's the most beautiful state you've never been to. I mean, it's just... Amazing. I'd like to talk some more about your art. Um, uh, uh, what kind of things inspire you to do the things you do? Uh, I don't know if there's any direct source of inspiration as, as much as it's just something that I've always done. You know, I've always drawn since I was a kid and uh, it always stuck with me. I think battling was something I took on that was kind of a break from drawing because it was so different. From when I was used to, you know, I could draw a picture and give it to somebody and they tell me it's the coolest thing in the world and that's great, you know. Mm -hmm. But the feeling you get from a battle, whether you're winning or losing, it doesn't matter. But to be in front of a crowd of people performing and, you know, you're just putting yourself on the slab basically at the risk of public humiliation. Oh, totally. There's no feeling that's like it. I mean, there's, no feeling, there's no feeling that drawing could, could ever give me. And so I, I feel like it was a great thing for me to re to. Re place it with whenever I got, you know, burned out or bored sure, with it. Sure. And, uh, it's worked out so far. And uh, are you also a uh, tattoo artist? Do, uh, do you work at a... I, no, I, I'm not in a shop right now. I was apprenticing for a while and, I, and I'm looking to get back into it. I just don't have much time. Uh, yeah, I've yeah. been applying a lot of time in, into writing and into doing different things. I, want, I'd li I really want to start this illustrative uh, book. I won't talk too much into that, but... Uh, there's, there's lots of little things I've been wanting to get into, and tattooing's been a, been a small part of it, absolutely. It's definitely a career choice I'm looking forward to making permanent. Uh, if, if anybody wanted to check out any of your work, where can they go? As lame as it sounds right now, about the only place I have like my artwork post up is like Facebook. Um, I'm, I'm in the process of right now of getting a, somebody who was very, very kind and offered to build a, a, a web page <clears> for me. But uh, I, I don't know what, when that's going to be out right sure. now exactly. But, you know, if anybody ever wants to contact me for artwork or anything like that, Naptown Dave at Yahoo or look up DC Smitty on Facebook. Let's talk about Colorado for a second. Okay. I, I do want to talk about the, you know, uh, the scene they got out there. I'm a, I, man, uh, it's like a, we went, when, we, when I went out to battle Lacrath in Colorado, it was at this place, <laughs> Pins and Needles, which you referenced actually, which good catch. I like that. Uh, but uh, that, there was an incident that happened out in the parking lot. You know, a guy had got jumped, and there was, you know, a couple shots that got fired. Nobody got killed or hurt or seriously hurt or nothing like that. But in the, the police had showed up, you know, and news cameras showed up and everything like that. Had a little small spot on the news about it. But, uh, you know, and the cops were being completely cool about it at first. You know yeah. what I mean? They, did, they didn't blame it on the rap battles, which it was. It had nothing to do with the rap battles. It had something to do with that was outside of it, and they took up for it and said, look, this can happen anywhere. It can happen at a football game. It can happen at any kind of place yeah. where people get together. It's just people being stupid. I agree. You know, and for that to ruin the scene where people are coming together that, that are competing with words instead of physically or violently or yeah. nothing like, you know, then uh, I don't see why they want to shut that down so bad. And so now it's like they're, you know, the Aurora PD... I guess their stance on this has completely changed to where they don't, you know, they don't approve of it. They, you know, they're they're checking them on a, a event licenses or something like that. Hmm. They, 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 now you need a license to go and have a battling event out there or something. So I, I don't yeah. know. It's twisted. I don't understand why they're doing it, but it's stupid. They need to realize that, you know, it, it's not the rap battling that's promoting violence at all. If anything, it's deterring it. Yeah. And. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, like granted, you know, we're insulting each other, like talking about imaginary weapons and all kinds of other stuff. But I mean, you know, we are using our words. Right. I, mean, you know, I, can't, like, I can't kill you. You're already dead. Right. <laughs> right. You're already in a body bag. <laughs> Duh. It's not just Colorado. Um, uh, about a year ago, I went up to, what was it, Rockford, Illinois. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'd say they got about halfway through the event, 
and um, I guess a bunch of people just got really anxious and like rambunctious, and and the security and the cops, you know, came to close it down. We had to go to another venue, and but some of the people there, you know, they've been telling me that uh, 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 that rap battles are almost banned in that city. You know, they've been shutting them down for years, and it's ridiculous, I mean, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, um, I, I don't know. It, it's got to be like a violation, like in our freedoms, you know, freedom of speech even, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm sure it'll get resolved sooner or later as soon as people take their heads out of their ass and, yeah. and just realize what, you know, kids and these people are trying to actually do. Um, but it's not, it, it's not promoting violence. It, it's not, it's, at least to me it isn't, you know. And sure, you get the few bad apples out there. That I'll say, yeah, I'm completely serious. If I'm telling you I'm going to shoot you, I will shoot you. You know what I mean? And, you know, you can't listen to idiots that are like that. I mean, you know, and the, really the people that are so violently aggressive about it and want to fight you after a battle or for whatever reason, you know, th these are the people that are ruining the sport. <laughs> Emo! But. <laughs> and so that's your story and you're sticking to it? Yeah, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I'm afraid. Excellent. Um, well, uh, this has been an excellent interview. Uh, I really appreciate you coming hey, on the show. Thank you for having me, but and the you, was a, you was a great opponent, man, for real. Oh, yeah, the battle was killer. Right, do not sleep on this cat. This guy can write. I am so fucking serious. <laughs> I can stay in the lines, too. Yeah. <laughs> Slim shading. <laughs> Out. <laughs> well, um, yeah, uh, all your viewers at home, uh, be sure to jump on the Internet and take a gander at some of his art. It's incredible. Uh, thank you for watching, viewers. Uh, check me out at boneheadindustries.com and on Cat TV. Stay tuned. This program was produced with the assistance of cat facilities at Stevens College in Columbia, Missouri. Uh, copyright 2012, Bone Man.